What's up folks, Dobro with the Dungeon Tank Guardian here. Well, I've been busy this couple of days. Made a couple of new things. Got this, got this. The Dungeon Tank Guardian has all round power toughness, power toughness and vitality gear. She's pretty much set up for everything that uh, she should handle. Well, got a staff, been using it as well. It has to be said, it's a very decent weapon. Even though I've been using extensively the scepter and the focus. With the staff you get a really decent mobility, at least till the 10th of December, when the staff will be most likely nerfed a bit, especially the swiftness boost, but, well, first things first, what did we do? The all the ascended uh, gear pushed up our attack to 3.4k, that's with a Bane Signet. This will go a bit higher up, especially when we start using the stones and the food, but first, uh, on the old vid there was, a, there was a request for a small playthrough, so I think I'll go to my old stomping ground in Ore. Oh, Anchorage Point is open. Well, that's, that's re relatively rare on on uh, Ferguson's Crossing. Oh, good. Anyway, the so much the better. So, okay, where are we? Yep. Oh, because oh, someone attempted to do a Ra. Okay. You should have tried to do this with our Zerg. Too bad for you. Okay, so, we are going to get some boosts. So first, sharpening stones. And second, well, there are a couple of things that uh, boost power. One of the things is that uh, plate of Orion steak frights. Uh, there is one more, but it was a molten, molten facility molten facility recipe and it costs like an arm and a leg, so I'm not going to use the 100 power and 70 toughness for an hour. It was a good idea, but uh, I might just do it, but I eh, need to make some cash first, because uh, all of my stuff went to get the ascended back piece. Alrighty, so let's see what we'll manage to get with both, with all those two things. There you go, 3.7. 45k power. I would say that's a very, very decent amount of power. But, well, uh, let's tag a couple of people first. One, two, three, he will attack me as well, so let's do our boost. Hit, 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 boost, burst, hit, hit, hit. Nothing's going on, girl. No race. Okay, this one survived because he ha he has uh, oh he has uh, protection and someone else ca came to play. Yeah, there you see how it is a tad more difficult to kill a single target, but it works. It works. It's not that bad. So. Hit, 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 uh, let's see how many can we pull, uh, alrighty, this is going to be fun, okay, burst, uh, double heal, hit, 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 I don't even use my heal, well, that's how we usually do our stomping. So let's do hit, 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 uh, heal, hit, hit, hit. Uh, I wanna get behind something like this so they lose their line of sight. Okay, hit, hit, 
Okay, first acolyte, second acolyte. Hit. Ah. Thanks, but no thanks, me. It's a bit late for that. We already attacked all of them. So, alrighty. What else can we do? We need you. We need you. Ah, oh, no one. Ah, there's someone up there. Uh, come here, come here, come here. Need you too. Okay. Oh, I don't need you helping me, quite honestly. Yeah, because you just spread all of my MP. Uh, you just spread all of my opponents. Then, well, go find, go fight something else. Ah, uh, and you kept me in combat. Even worse. Okay, we can do that. We can do this with a scepter as well. Alrighty. Switch. Hit, hit, hit. Who else is there? Hit. Burst. I want to. Ah. Uh, to tax below me. I want to break my shield. This shield of red, one of the biggest and uh, one of the things you can most easily exploit is that you can break that shield for damage and uh, not let it uh, get destroyed. This is always something I try, it's a bit harder, especially when you try to tag more enemies all at the same time. Okay, now we're at 6. Okay. Hit yourself. Hit yourself. Now, if I was with the old build, that would have been even more damage. Because I would have had retaliation on those two virtues. Well, it's not, but uh, that's not uh, that big of a deal. Uh, haven't popped my heal, not going to. 11k hit points, more than enough to kill everything. Good, so far so good. What else can we do? Uh, here we have an acolyte. Uh, noble, come here, come here. You two come here. Uh, you can join us as well. Uh, once again, drop down. Uh, okay, hit yourself. Uh, let's get a boost. One more hit. Let's get another attack here, and so far so good. There we go. Easy peasy, no problems whatsoever. Very fast, very easy killing. Well, I'd like to see many other builds that can do it, especially with... Uh, with a close combat character, because well, it's uh, very interested. I'm very interested to see. Well, I do know that there are AOE tar uh, AOE builds which uh, can do some very substantial amount of damage in very little time, and uh, they can accomplish some of that speed. But as you see, the damage that we're managing with the with the regular hits and with the symbols is very very decent now i do agree that the mace is slightly slow in the in its attacks but uh, it's not a problem as soon as you start uh, fighting stuff and uh, mass you'll be you'll be perfect you'll have absolutely no problems uh, i just hope those two won't uh, run away okay yeah, rat one ran away. Ah, you bugger. Now, I did uh, notice that, that uh, Arena Net had uh, put something like a cap on the amount of enemies uh, in PV that would be hitting you. And uh, I never even needed that cap, honestly, because uh, you see why. You do see why. 
I was really happy being hit by 5-6 enemies uh, simply because they can't even make uh, any big uh, dent on me. Now, uh, I'm not taking any uh, notice in how many bags or such did I get for now. Maybe you can take a note of that yourself because uh, in the end uh, you people, we people do PvE for cash and not for anything like uh, fun or something. Well, PvE is cash and uh, you don't really need anything special in it because uh, it's all very easy. Any any build anything can do PvE. Ah, there you go. Now one of the things to note here with this build and uh, with the Guardian, uh, you do need to know some of the mechanics of the game. So you did know ah over there not bad. So you did notice that I hid behind those two shrubs uh, or whatever they are. The idea is to the idea is to get the line of sight. You cut the line of sight from here and from here, and the acolyte cannot hit you. So they are forced to come to you. So make sure you use those options. Uh, it helps big time in the, your uh, in the tagging of uh, enemies and such. So yeah, uh, keep going, guy. I want you. I want uh, you. I want... Uh, eh... Looks like I don't want anyone else uh, besides uh, that guy's fighting the other thing, so... Uh, it's okay. No worries, we'll fight, we'll kill you as well. So, he did drop that guy quickly, he might be a Zerker, it's possible, so anyway. I want my four or five enemies. Uh, blind you, hit you, burst that, uh, hit that, burst that. Uh, uh, I'm so used to, pop to po in, uh, I'm so used <laughs> to popping both virtues for retaliation. That's the thing. Uh, this is why you saw me doing it uh, almost uh, mechanically, because uh, I do pop those uh, just for the retaliation, and uh, even though the, it was kind of merited, uh, it wasn't really necessary. I can survive those. I can survive even that, because by the time the, my hit points drop lower, I will have my uh, protection, the cold arms, uh, back up. Uh, Cold Arms, hold the line. Cold Arms was this another game. <laughs> okay, what else do I have here? So I'm going to fight for like uh, a couple of minutes more, just for you guys to get the uh, general idea what's uh, with those builds and uh, how to kill stuff uh, efficiently and in mass. Uh, yeah, I didn't manage to get the shield to burst, but that's usually uh, more easily done with uh, three with three enemies. When there are four, yeah, they uh, do manage to get some uh, damage in, and uh, they do manage to. Oh, who's fighting over there? Oh, I'm interested. Uh, come here, uh, grab Brandon. Ah, yeah, of course. You have a necro. You have a lot of uh, options to uh, pull aggro on your. Uh, on your minions, well, okay, let's uh, let's help you out a bit. Yet yeah, you can do it. You can do it yourself. I'm keenly aware of that. Oh, that was too of me. Too much talking. Too little paying attention of, of the game. Well, it's okay. There we go. What else can we do? Okay, I'll just yeah, stomp a couple of more enemies, and I'll think I'll oh. I'll end the video here because it's so because it's uh, it pretty much shows how I roll and uh, that pretty much shows how I uh, I do my stuff here I was kind of slacking uh, I threw that uh, shield just a tad later big deal yeah it's a misery a misery for you of course uh, I need more I need more come here let them 
Now, while the others fight single enemies, uh, forgot to switch. You can fight a couple of them at a time and you will kill them just as efficiently as the others uh, fight one single enemy. That's the big, big, big idea with uh, the with the dungeon tank build. Oh, here I may need a heal. Okay, because you can do this and you can do everything without any problems. You can just kill them at uh, at will, pretty much at will. Yeah, he pulled some of my mobs, but uh, not that big of a deal. Thing is, kill and mass, kill quickly. You'll be perfect. Okay, give me more. Uh, stop attacking him. I want you to attack me. No, yeah, if you're with. Eh, this pretty much goes to show that uh, if you're with another person, this will go even faster. This is how I have been as a flight rolling on the boss runs as well, because. Even though the enemies are uh, more and they have much more hit points, uh, they do they do suffer for the, from the same uh, disadvantages like uh, no. some arrange, some will go away, some will run at a, at a certain point, uh, and uh, while you're leisurely DPSing with that uh, 3.7k attack and it has to be said it's very easy to get to that because uh, the food for those uh, Orion plate of whatever that was uh, I just discovered it ah, okay not, not just discovered it but uh, I started using it as a plate yeah Orion's take for it it's very very cheap it's like uh, four silver at, war at uh, most per plate or something. So you are, won't have absolutely any problem. Oh, you were an acolyte. Don't know, didn't see that. So you won't have absolutely any problems uh, buying some of that food. Just do a single dungeon and uh, you can buy yourself like 30 to 40 plates and uh, you will be perfect. You have absolutely, absolutely no problem uh, with the food and with the cons any consumables that you need. Because uh, as you know, as you see, I'm using uh, the plain and simple, uh, plain and simple superior sharpening stone, and it's uh, also rel relatively cheap to procure because it does require some. Uh, some uh, crystalline dust, but uh, since uh, I'm doing the world boss runs with this uh, character, I don't really feel the need of uh, buying anything. Because uh, quite plainly, I do have uh, I do have like uh, 30 plus sectors at the end of each run, and that's uh, at, that's the very least that I can have. So your food and your consumables that uh, boost you are pretty much guaranteed. Especially if you do a world a world boss run or two each day. Just do the very simple shadow beam out mo and such and you'll be perfect. Now, yeah, that is taking a bit but uh, no one is, no one will be surprised. 100 blades would have helped but uh, the guardians have more than enough offense as they ha as they are, and uh, I'm also, in a way, rather interested in the December 10 update, because uh, the guardians will as well get a couple of additional boosts and boosts, and uh, some of those boosts will be in trees that uh, I am using. So. I may enjoy some uh, more uh, condition damage, some more uh, fire damage. Uh, uh, that's condition damage, yeah, exactly. I meant uh, some more damage and uh, additional options to kill enemies. Yeah, return die, I'm not going to die. Uh, right. Uh, they're, they're bad. Yeah, they're not going to get they're not going to manage with it. So, how long have I been fighting? 
is the good question. And what did I do? Ah, 18 bucks. For girls. Now, alrighty. Well, that's pretty much uh, the way I'm uh, using the Guardian as, uh, as a plate. Uh, it's uh, very, very easy to kill stuff, uh, especially on maskers. Why should you go to every single enemy and uh, use 100 blades or something like this just to kill it uh, in one, two hits? For the time you get to one enemy, use 100 blades, get to a second enemy, use 100 blades, get to a third enemy, use 100 blades and such. There you go. Our guardian can take on many more of them in absolutely no time and just uh, dish out the damage on multiple targets. Just take your time, do like uh, a couple of uh, like 30 minutes a day in this location and you will be perfect. Now I do imagine that uh, there will be problems on uh, higher popula populated servers. Uh, you may not have uh, uh, as many mobs possible uh, available, actually not possible, available. But I'm sure you can uh, easily imagine how how easy it is to deal with them as you can s as you saw even in a prolonged fight i never dropped under 7k dam uh, 7k hit points and let's not forget that uh, at the same time i do have that trait that uh, drops uh, that drops uh, the, s the very same symbol of fate uh, below my feet so they will take more damage if i fall below who's what wants to hit me get the fuck out of here so if i want if i drop below 50 percent of my health and that's uh well 11.7k uh, which is even more damage i can intentionally allow myself to drop under that uh, threshold just to get that uh, symbol because as you know, our build allows for improved damage of symbols, so you will never ever have uh, any loss of doing it, because first it's a vulnerability and second it's uh, more damage. Oh, there we go. Luckily for me, this waypoint was open and things are looking good for our little dungeon tank. So. 20 minutes, 20 bucks, one rare, some more crap. I'd say that's a good trade off for the casual player, because as I said multiple times, I'm one of them. I'm a casual player, and I like to do something for like 20 minutes to half an hour, make some cash, go grab a beer, or do something else, or go out with friends and such. You don't really need to stay 20 hours in the game per day to do something amazing. There you go. In any case, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Take care, have a good one, and enjoy life as it is. Goodbye.